Hello guys, what's up? It's Shark talking. Welcome back to my channel. So, today's video is about Valkar Anatomia First Anniversary campaign. We finally have it because uh, recently they did a pre anniversary campaign that was only for comeback players, so we veterans didn't have anything. But this celebration is finally for everyone, and they have quite a lot of goodies for us to just experience with this new anniversary. Uh, a lot of people didn't believe we would hit the first anniversary because some people didn't thought the game would leave uh, up till now, but we are here and I have very good hopes for the game to come better. Simply because of they made some changes to the banner system, so we can do a uh, 7-step and have a guarantee character on the 7th step, and also you can use your 7-step to purchase an orb, so making a good character out of only 33k gems. It's still a lot, but it's more uh, of a way to make people spend more and even the free to play players can get something from here and there. And I believe that the game will change from now and it will probably be better for everyone. So let's just check out everything that they have for us now. And you can see first anniversary campaign, there's a lot of things that we can talk about of each one of them by looking. So you can see from today we will be getting one, two, three, four, five, uh, five thousand gems. It seems to be, and we also be getting some good things that are sometimes premium stuff, like Perfect Sphere is a premium item. We have uh, Valusios. It's good because it's very boring to farm for uh, hero volley for most characters. And then we have uh, some other things like um, stamina potions. Usually, experience speed doesn't mean that. They are very good things, but I do like the Valusios for some people, it's, it will be helping them reach their second or maybe even the first um, Seal Stone. And the last day is uh, Elway Evolvable Weapon Secret. This is good because they are giving this the fourth time and you can use it to get one of your weapons that are very close to get to Elway, but you still need one more to buy. Uh, 5000 gems is, is only enough for one um, multi pool, but you probably have a little more and you have this to get some more. So let's just check the second thing, it's increased bonus genus campaign. So for people that purchase gems, they will be getting some uh, gems and even better results for free gems. I think this is one of the best values they release it, uh, I'm not so sure because I don't never purchase the gems in this game. But it's good because you can uh, probably will have some banners that are paid only gems. I know that this is a little hard for people that won't be able to get, but at least support the game for people that spend. I I don't care about this. I, I, I'm only happy for people having uh, the returns for their spending. So the next one is just that, um, let me see, they will release some new packs. The LA Evolution says will cost 5,000 gems, and by that you will get some good things. I. Uh, I'm a little worried about this because uh, sometimes they release uh, some of these with discounts. This is, doesn't have discounts, so for free to play players, I don't think they will have to get this one. Especially because we are getting 5000 gems that you will be using everything uh, on here. I think this is more for spending players that can purchase uh, these packs. 5000 for each pack. Okay, so now that we have this another thing, and it's this Stamp and Divine Weapon Ticket Present Campaign. Let's just check this out, and looking from this time, we'll be getting one new in the Thanks for Playing stamp, and you'll also be getting only, uh, a 6 star only Divine Weapon Seeker. This means that you'll be getting a only uh, 6 star only weapons from this pool. It's a very interesting pool, and I will be doing this right now, after we read everything. And I'll, other other thing is just campaign quest, what is always there. The event quest will... Uh, boot deck, you can use the first anniversary medals to exchange items you also open. Uh, gather as many first anniversary medals as you can and exchange them for exclusive items. It's just an event with uh, good currency and it is a very good currency, it seems. The event quest is simply... Uh, I will check it out, but I think it's just playing the game and you do any type of quest, you'll be getting these medals and you can exchange it for some of these items. Here. I will check this out and we talk about it. We also having a, a campaign for greater success for boats, weapon, and orb. It's very good because I'm saving a lot of hammers. This is good. Uh, let's see more. More. We'll be getting also a free uh, divine weapon system, uh, summon for every day, just like we had by um, the celebration for Valkyrie Profile Anniversary. We are having this again. But let me just check how many characters we have on this list. It seems that we have more characters. Yeah, we do have more characters. We even have a uh, Herod Bride. So this is just like getting um, Latina, 
uh, Groom, Lucian, we also have Celestial Armor, Warfred, Ely, the Shackle, that's quite a lot of good characters. There are Generation 3 characters here, and I do believe a lot of people will get very happy with the results. The, the, the hates were not so bad, a lot of people got a lot of artifacts, even I got artifacts from these pools when we were having it on the Volcar Profile Anniversary. So this is pretty nice, especially because it lasts for um, three weeks, uh, kind of three weeks. Very good to have this thing. Uh, it's one of the things that makes people logging on the game every day, because they really want to see the results of some free pools. And you can see what is always there, step up divine weapon. Hmm, guys, yeah, we have the new Valkyrie. This new Valkyrie here uh, belongs to the start of the first, fourth generation, we, sh we should be calling this. It's the start of New Year, we always have a very strong Valkyrie on the start of every New Year. She was released on January of this year on Japan and she kinda uh, made a lot of things different for status. You can see that she has 4000 attack. We were having characters with 3.6, so this is a new generation. The start of it is very impressive because she also has two versions. But we won't be talking too much about her because I will do a video when she gets released. She's not being released today yet. She will be released by tomorrow. But exactly, it's like five hours from where I'm recording this video. So not so many hours after this, I'll be making a video. You can see that the star version even has a five score attack close to 5,000, guys. It's just a lot. So not like it is. It always makes sense and matters because uh, uh, status doesn't make everything on this game. It's all about the passives. We also have her weapon, pretty interesting, and a staff, a very strange staff. So you can see that this event will start by tomorrow as well, it's a very interesting event. Then we have a new entity ascension, a C star for ice weapons. None of the weapons are very interesting to have, I think this is not so interesting to have. The only damage, and ice damage up, yeah, nothing really stands out here. Greatly increases mag of all primary. This one is interesting because it's a stat that increases mag uh, with a very similar thing as Enigma, but only being a mag type. Very interesting for people that use four mages, but it's not very easy to use four characters that use mag damage. So not so recommended. Maybe you'll get this later by summoning it this off banner. Let me just close here. This one thing here. Limited things. Okay. There's nothing more here. I will just go here on the banner summon and see what they have for us. Uh, before I do that, I have to clear on my chest. I have a lot of things here, I think. Probably some of the tickets that they sent to us. This one. Six star only divine weapon ticket. Uh, I will be doing this pool here because I think this is a pretty interesting thing to have on recorded. And uh, we also have this another banner that is the free one. You can see here. Uh, first anniversary, very close to the end. And the, the other one that we, I just got the ticket, uh, 11 six star weapons guarantee. This is a very interesting because this was given out to the Japanese players as well. And I was thinking that they will just uh, charge us for 5,000 gems instead of giving us because they treat global players a little different. We have um, better values for some things, but worse values for some other things. But very nice to have this. Let's just zoom on here and see what we have. Okay, uh, let me just click on draw paste to see what up to where they are giving these weapons. I think this is only a too extreme. I don't think they will include colossal weapons here. Or maybe they will. Yeah, there, there are, are um, Gladipalas here. Gladipalas is a colossal weapon. Probably not so many, but at least some of them are here. Now oh, let's just zoom and see the results. It will be a, a gold, because all of these weapons are gold, they are all 6 stars. Let's just check every one of them. Uh, Hedaru Kuran is a very, very old weapon. Shuruk is a very, very old weapon. Bane's Leaf is a very, very old weapon. I don't have any luck here, Greater Feather is a very, very old weapon. Arnagos is interesting. One is good. Avalanche Blade is very old. All of this that I'm saying is old, I will just sell. Shining Garen, I have three copies of it, but I don't like it, I will probably sell. Chevelle like I already have a lot of it. So Avenger is not... Uh, something that I always want more. Really could I'm, This is for Narn event, I think. It's a very good weapon, that one. 
Lion Soleil. Okay, I, I only like uh, this weapon here because of fighting spell. This is a very interesting thing. It's just like that Graciato for mag users. And yeah, Avengers Warriors of King, but I think this was a very bad pull. Sorry, but it was a very bad pull. Uh, let me click back. I already have way too many weapons on this account because I'm using Katsu. I will be using my other account as well. Let me just click here. This is the free daily. This one can give you zero artifacts. The other one was not able to. But I don't think I did get a uh, 6 star this time. It never disclosed the rates, but it's probably just like 5% chances of, uh, of getting a gold. An artifact will be probably 1% or something like that. We'll probably get two uh, artifacts or maybe three uh, till this event ends. I think it's a good eight, and you'll be also getting a lot of things to trade for Divar uh, fragments. Very nice. So I think this end, uh, video ends here. I will be doing uh, some other pools on my other accounts. I think I'll do this uh, on the end of the video. Just wait a little. Okay, so we are now on my old account, that it's one that it's uh, that I started the game, the original one. I just want to see the results of this pool. Maybe I will have finally some luck on an account that I don't play anymore. Let's just check the results. It seems like <laughs> another million tears. Oh no, the other one was a uh, Shrook. Magnesia, I don't even know this weapon, I probably miss it. A little better than my selection. Bloody Pose is not good. Cryptolite. Cryptolite is good. Millie Paint is not so good. In more copies of the weapon. Like, <laughs> Ah, no. I don't think this is just uh, that good as well. Bluff Fairy is a very good weapon. Yeah, I think the, the look was the same. I'm cursed, guys. It's not the account. So now let's just do the free one. Oh, we're getting a gold. <laughs> Shambhala, at least it's true. Okay, so this is the end of the video. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't. And you can also support the channel by using the PayPal or Patreon button on the description to help the channel grow and keep releasing Volcar Anatomy content. So we see each other on the next video. Bye.